That's our Avenida Houston cam. It's a live look outside over Discovery Green. Some clouds in the sky. It is a muggy, humid day out there, folks. Very warm. But welcome back to Houston Life. Now, in honor of National Senior Health and Fitness Day, we want everyone to get up and moving. Here with tips to get us started, please welcome John Kidwell from the YMCA, along with some of his very young students, Rosalie, Howard, and Evelyn. Welcome to Houston Life, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. So this day was created uh, sort of to create awareness that seniors should stay active and healthy. Absolutely. It is vitally important to age well and to do that by staying physically active, focusing on your well-being, and being out in a community of peers. And also part of uh, preventing injury and preventing falls mm -hmm. is having a little bit of strength, right? Absolutely. Strength, balance, mobility all go into preventing the falls and the ailments that seem to come with aging. Okay, so today you've brought a handful of exercises. I have. Yes, we have some. We'll demonstrate as well. Yes. So we're going to start Our with marvelous demo team. Yeah, so we're going to okay. start with cardio. That's great for any of our workouts uh, to get moving. So we're just going to start going side to side. So okay. we're going to start going to the right. So step into the right and then back to the left. Start nice and slow and easy. And this is just to get that heart rate up, get us comfortable with moving. And then Evelyn is already looking like she's comfortable. The more comfortable you get, the more you can get your arms into it. Evelyn, get how are ready you feeling to move. over there? You, how are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. Yeah? I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> Well, you look fabulous on TV. And Howard, how long are each of these exercise classes that you take? One I'm sorry? Do you do like a one hour class? I do a one hour class, yes. And do you ever sweat? Yes. <laughs> All right, we love that. All the that. time. Okay. All the time. So from our cardio, we're going to go to some major muscle movements. And specifically for our active older population, we focus on ones like you said, for balance, posture, mobility. So we're going to do a sit to stand. So we have our chairs, and it looks a lot like a squat. But we're just going to go down and then stand it back up. And this is a basis, this is a move for all of our exercise classes, whether it's silver sneakers, enhanced fitness, but any of our ones that focus on our active older adult population, sit to stand is a crucial move because it helps to improve and maintain the daily function throughout life. That is not an easy one. Rosalie, can you feel the burn? Yes, I can. Thank you. <laughs> How many of these do you do? I do 10 to 12. 10 to 12? Yes. And afterward, you can definitely feel it in your legs, huh? Yes, yes. So we'll move Don't from this to a seated position, and then this one's going to look like we're getting in and out of a car, which most of us do. So we're going to start going out to the right and just step and swing it out, and then bring it back in. And then we're going to go left, step and swing it out. Bring it back in. You can do this without a weight attached to your ankle or with a weight. But again, it's all about being mobile, maintaining that mobility, and thinking, what do I have to do day in and day out, get in and out of a car? And this John, how one do of those you know how many reps to, to do? I mean, should we be doing this until we're feeling a little tired? So typically we do 10 to 12. That's pretty standard, 10 to 12, and then go through three times. So three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Uh, that's going to get us where we build strength, but we're not completely exhausted. Got it. And so, is there ever a point we should stop doing the exercise? Yes, absolutely. If you feel lightheaded, if you feel as though you can't continue, then stop. Absolutely. Does anybody feel lightheaded? No. no. Not okay, yet. Okay. All right, good. good. We'll move on to the upper body. So underneath you have a weighted ball. And adding weight is great because as you age, bone density shrinks, osteopenia, osteoporosis become more prevalent. Using weights helps to maintain that bone strength and bone density. So we're just gonna start with a chest press, working on our chest, our arms, and our back muscles, and we're just extending and bringing it back. Evelyn, you're looking good. She's looking marvelous. Rosalie, Everybody's looking good. I don't think we could be in more unison if we tried. How many people take the classes? I mean, is, is it a full class of seniors? Yeah, so at our Ys all around Houston, we'll have anywhere from 20 to 30 to 50 people in our silver sneakers and enhanced fitness classes. That sounds so cool. And then does everybody go to brunch afterwards? Please. Actually, we just go out to the lobby and have coffee and hang out. That's so cool. No, I'm being serious. It sounds like a very social, fun thing to do. For so that, that is absolutely part of the senior health and fitness is well-being, physical activity, and building that community of support, which is what the Y is all about. So we're going to switch from going out and into an arm curl, another one that looks like we're picking up groceries. The one before was like we were putting it on the shelf, but these arm curls here just help keep us nice and strong. Imagine it's a can of soup, right? That's right. You got it. Or Maybe a gallon of milk. Pony. Or a gallon of milk. Yeah, that's heavy. Absolutely. And you can see Howard has tremendous posture. He's keeping himself upright, just like yourself. Focusing on making sure we're upright so that we have that 
balance, mobility, and we're able to move. So let's take and hold this right in the middle, and then we're going to twist out to the right and then back to the left. Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. That feels nice. This one's like we're passing something at the dinner table. <laughs> or passing a golf stone. <laughs> it's Hopefully a joke, not. people. It's a joke. Okay. This is, hey, can I ask a really rude question of each one of our <laughs> participants? Rosalie, how old are you? I'll be 74 in August. That is amazing. 74. Happy early birthday. Howard, how old are you? I'll be 70 in four weeks. All right. We all start with sevens here. Evelyn? 69 and a half. Oh. <laughs> I will be 70 on June the 18th. Well, excuse me. <laughs> June the 18th is yes. less than three weeks away. So happy early birthday to you as well. And John, this was so great. So if people want to come and take one of your classes, how do they do it? So uh, at the YMCA, you can come and have a membership. Uh, if you have Medicare, you may be eligible to have a free membership as a part of that through the Silver Sneakers program. And that is one of the classes we have. But then whether it's our active older program, Silver Sneakers or Enhanced Fitness, once you have that membership, you're available. You can do all of it there. That's great. And the info and the class schedules are all online yes, at sir. HoustonYMCA.org. So that's fantastic. I want to come and take a class. Maybe I'll have to wait a couple more years. No, we can go. We'll just do <laughs> okay. stuff for our age. Or they're so kind to let us pop in, and I pop in every now and then, and they don't kick me out. Perfect. Well, John, <laughs> thank you so much. And Evelyn, Howard, Rosalie, thank you for stopping by. You all look fantastic. And uh, get out there and take some classes, folks. Now, coming up next, we're going to take a look at what is trending today with our good friend Cowboy Dave. Like, uh, check this out. It's the latest denim craze hitting the internet. A dress made from old jeans? Oh my, it's expensive too. We'll explain next.